Hello, I'm Jim Lapley. American junior welterweight veteran Zab Judah is something of an enigma. In his career travels from 140 pounds up to 147 and then back down to 140, Judah has fallen short in all his biggest assignments. But his great hand speed, boxing talent, and outgoing personality have maintained a bridge to fans that keeps him pointed toward big fights. Here now, Zab Judah's greatest hits. April 2006. Following a surprising loss to Carlos Valdemir, Judah met pound-for-pound -pound king Floyd Mayweather. Judah began strong, consistently beating Mayweather to the bunch. There's a good quick left hand inside by Zab Judah. Big left hand over the top by Judah. He believes he's got no rubber hurt. Crowd is going wild for Judah. He landed a straight left cross flush. As the fight continued, Mayweather's accuracy began to surface, and he consistently landed at will. Mayweather is beginning to hammer Judah with body shots. As Judah grew frustrated, he chose to make it a street fight. Now you tell me what he's doing with that. Judah seems almost to be trying to taunt Mayweather, and he lands a left hand, and now he's talking to Floyd. And he catches him with a little right hook. Big left hand for Judah, his best punch of the round, and he taunts Mayweather one more time before leaving the corner. Mayweather kept his composure and continued measuring the increasingly defensive Judah. Oh, there is blood coming out of the nose and mouth of Judah now. And there'll be more of it after that big right hand, but it's getting increasingly worse for Judah as Mayweather is simply chasing him around the ring and punishing him now. Mayweather's dominance continued, and he cruised to the unanimous decision victory. November 2008. Having lost four of his previous six decisions, Judah began trying to resurrect his career against Ernest Johnson. Judah's unpredictability was on display early, beginning immediately after the second round. No, 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 no. Judah doesn't want to sit down, doesn't seem to want to listen to his dad either. I think he feels he's got control of the fight. Is his disdain for his opponent, or did he not want to hear what his corner had to say? Maybe a combination of both. A pair of third round headbutts opened up two different cuts on Judah including a particularly deep one over his right eye. Zab has a lot to worry about now. I got two cuts. Yeah, I know. Are they big? No, they all right. Keep it real. They all right. Zab persevered, effectively using his jab to keep the slower Johnson at bay and picking his spots to attack. Judah is whipping Johnson with both hands in the middle of the ring here in the sixth round. Yeah, he's taking more control over the fight now. His confidence is up. He's putting punches together. He's Finally getting in his zone now, where he's been to land punches, a variety of punches too, not just one punch. The cuts proved not to be an issue, as Judah cruised to a unanimous decision victory. November 2010, Judah stepped into the ring with undefeated Lucas Matisse. Judah spent the first half of the fight, successfully keeping the hard-punching Matisse at a distance. Now Judah suddenly opens up and throws two good left crosses in a row. And he's showing legitimate and proper respect for Matisse's 25 knockouts. That was real good, Zab Judah. There it was again, catch and counter, precision and power. As the fight wore on, Matisse gained confidence, then found an opportunity to pounce. Hard right hand by Matisse. Zab Judah goes down. What a stunning turn of events in round 10. And suddenly the Argentine puncher has made his point. Matisse does not seem bothered by Judah's power. Not at all. There's a big left hook. At some point, Zab's going to have to consider holding on. In the decisive final round, Judah tried to slow Matisse's sudden momentum. Hard left hand by Judah. His best punch in three rounds. What a battle. Judah survived Matisse's late rally, winning a split decision. To see more of Zab's Super Judah, tune in to HBO Sports.